just to say a few words about Dick Apici and uh, the fund which has been uh, dedicated to him is in his name. Many people have given to that. So Dick was a vice president here at Villanova University when the Augustinian province of St. Thomas of Villanova uh, accepted the invitation of Pope John XXIII to help in the evangelization of Latin America. Dick left this job and left the comfort of his home here, being close to his dear parents and sister and family, to go to work in Peru, to learn a new language, to live in an entirely different culture, to start off a mission from scratch. There was nothing. There was absolutely nothing. He and, and Frank Kelly and John Sheridan went down, our first members of the province, to be there. And Dick always was committed to the needs of the poor. He realized that God's love needed to be given witness to, particularly by reaching out to those most in need. And one of the perfect examples of the way that Dick gave witness to God's love was his concern for health, to build a hospital. He was asked by the Bishop of Chulacanus to do what he could to respond to the need for health. There was no health care in the entire Diocese of Chulacanus. Over 350,000 people and not a health establishment whatsoever. So the Bishop asked Dick to work with that. Also to establish electricity so the basic needs of people could be responded to. And when Dick worked with a, a civic committee of all political authorities in the area, to finally get a hospital and to get the services of electric, electricity in our area, Dick said, do me one more favor to this committee he had worked with for over 20 years. Don't start the electrical tenement in the center of town. Start electricity in the outskirts. Start it where the people are farthest away from the services of society. And naturally, the people who were on that committee lived in the center of town. So it was a great sacrifice for them to say yes to Dick. But they felt that they were saying yes to Christ. They realized that Dick was the voice of Christ in that atmosphere. And so to have a fund which is named for Dick, Dick Apici, a man who gave witness with his life, words and deeds, to how to be Christian, to do it in an Augustinian fashion, to follow the footsteps of Christ as Augustine would, I think is wonderful. And all of those many people like yourselves who have dedicated funds to our Dick Apici Mission Fund can feel proud of what is being done in your name, in our name, in Christ's names. So thank you.